Hey, welcome back to the Movement Network Bar, and today we're going to talk about a fight that, uh, according to some of the guys that I uh, that I know, they said it's a already done deal. It's supposed to take place in time in April, but with the whole pandemic stuff, I won't. They might move it up or down. Who knows? But this is a done deal fight. They just don't have the the dates yet, and that fight is uh, Chris Arviola uh, versus Andy Ortiz Jr. Now. I'm a little concerned about this fight simply because Chris Aviola is about seven years over his prime. Uh, Chris Aviola, it's, it's a fighter that at first I remember him coming up. He kept on uh, huffing and puffing, saying that he was going to be the first heavyweight Mexican fighter out there. Um, if you don't know, Chris Aviola has 47 fights, 30, 38 uh, wins. Six losses, been knocked out twice, and one draw. Chris Avio, the last four, uh, Adamic, um, uh, pickback, what's his name? Adamic um, Kamowski, uh, he lost. You know, it seems that every time Chris Avio step up to the plate, for some reason, he strikes out. Uh, he lost versus Deontay Wilder, retiring the corner. Uh, uh, Stavern. Who else? Uh, I think he lost to Vern twice. One, the first one was 2013. And the other one was 2014, I believe. Then he lost to uh, Thomas Adamic. And his first loss came in the hands of... Um, um, what's his name? Uh, Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko actually stopped Ariola. Um, and, uh, and, and Ariola, since that fight has just not been the same... Especially with the fight with um, with uh, Stavern, for some reason I don't I don't know. The second fight with Stavern was the first stopped him. I thought that uh, Riordan was gonna be smart. And he had good and that he had good people on his corner gonna tell him to call it a day and retire. But unfortunately, here we are again talking about Chris Ariola. Uh, this time versus Andy. Ruiz Jr., Andy Ruiz Jr., total of uh, 35 fights, 33 uh, wins, 22 KOs, two losses. Now, Andy Ruiz is interesting to me uh, as an interesting player for the um, heavyweight division simply because he's rededicated himself, according to what we've heard, he's rededicated himself. He's training with a Reynoso with, with uh, a family. He's in Mexico. He got Canelo. He got Ryan Garcia. He has a lot of great uh, motivators around him, especially Canelo seems to every time step up. Every time he's training, he takes it serious. Canelo's never joking around. Canelo's always out there training. Uh, he plays a lot of golf now, but hey, what the hell. Uh, so last time we saw um, uh Andy Ruiz Jr. was uh, 2019 versus uh, Anthony Joshua, uh, which it was an embarrassment of a fight. He really didn't show up to, to fight. I think he ate a little too many burritos, um, and that was uh, his worst display ever. Uh, it was an embarrassment of a fight. Uh, before that, he beat Anthony Joshua, stopped him in the U.S. here in Madison Square Garden, which was a fight that... I thought that Anthony Joshua was going to stop him. And you know what? For, for a little while there, I thought Anthony Joshua had him. But it shows you how interesting boxing is, right? Uh, and then uh, he's full of other fighters, you know. But his first fight came, came by the hands of uh, Joseph Parker. Which, by the way, Joseph Parker's fighting this weekend. It's a great fight. It's going to be a good fight. So, what can we expect from this fight? Uh, Chris Aviola versus Andy uh, Ruiz Jr. You know what? I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, this is an embarrassing of a fight. Chris Aviola, every time he steps up, he gets knocked out or something happens. He retires in the corner. I don't think Chris Aviola should be fighting anymore. He's taking too many shots. Uh, I don't know if he needs the money. Uh, but when I, when I first heard about this, I thought uh, red, white, and burrito, right? Because the... I know it's a corny joke, but I do think that uh, Chris Ariola life is in danger in this fight. I don't think he's gonna go over uh, over three rounds with um, with someone that has the energy and the strength and the power of Andy uh, Andy Ruiz. I'm not saying Andy Ruiz got a lot of power, 
But what I am saying is he has a lot of stamina. Under the rules, throws a lot of hard shots. He's a great counter puncher. You saw that versus Joshua. This is a huge uh, mismatch. Uh, Ariola was never uh, championship material or level. He never got there. Even though people thought he was going to, it never happened and never will. Uh, and the funny thing is that uh, Chris Ariola was the one saying he was going to be the first Mexican, you know, um, uh, champion, right? Um, never happened, but guess who that was? It was Andy Ruiz. Even though I do know they're both from New York, I'm uh, not New York, I'm sorry, California. They're both from the U.S., they're both from California, but they also represent Mexico, right? They, We all know that they, even though they, they're from California, both of them, they represent Mexico. And at one point, I do know, I remember seeing an interview where Andy Ruiz said that he used to look up to Chris Ariola. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy fight. Uh, this is not a taco eating contest. I think Chris Ariola needs to just go home, retire, and find something else to do. Um, especially since... Andy Ruiz does not look the way that we remember him anymore. Uh, well, the Rene, well, with and the Reynoso uh, team, with the Reynoso team, he's lost a lot of weight. Hopefully, the power is still, you know, still there. Hopefully, he's still got that strong chin he has. That's an unbelievable chin. The guy has a, a granite chin. Um, you know, it's just a bad fight for Chris Ariola. I don't think Chris Ariola. Should get in there, you know. I, I, it's gonna. My prediction is before the third, fourth round, if that. Um, you know, this is not a fight that I'm you know, interested in. I don't think uh, Chris Avila should put himself through that pain. You know, he's gonna go through a lot in this fight. Um, so I don't have much to say about it. The only reason I'm making a video about this fight is because I had a buddy of mine. That is uh, it's heavily into the whole boxing thing, like myself. And he just called me and said, hey, you know what? The fight is already, it's a done deal. They're just working on the days. They're just polishing some stuff. And I started thinking right away, this is not going to end well for Chris Ariola. Anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you, uh, if you like what I do, tell your friends about it. You know, I, I'm trying to do a lot of videos out there. Um, this is not my, believe it or not, well, not believe it or not, but this is not my, um, my occupation. I'm actually an investor. So once the stock market is not going the way that I want to, to release from stress, I like to do one of these videos. Um, you know, so I was thinking doing something different. Maybe if you guys like the way that I do these videos, uh, let me know if you guys at the end of the video want me to give you some good stocks out there. That's what I do uh, for a living. I do very, very well for myself. So um, catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you want me to do a video on anyone out there. And uh, peace.